Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about um, a new addition to our family. It's a red tailed boa. This is actually a snake that my boyfriend purchased. I can't even talk. Um, he purchased it. Um, I think it's just a normal. Some people say he looks a little light for normal, but I know they come in different variations. I don't think he's hypo, but there was a chance because his litter mate was hypo, but I honestly don't think he is. Um, red tailed boas are. They are constrictors like pythons. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know exactly all the differences, but they are constrictors. I know this boa in particular, this boa, this boa in particular is a predator. Um, ball pythons are more of like the prey, and that's obviously why they ball to protect your head and stuff like that. But these guys, especially during feeding, I can really tell that they are a predator. He is very strong and very, muscular I guess you could say like you can just tell just look at that you can tell he's a very strong snake oh okay get all into the camera um yeah he's enjoying the camera right now oh you're gonna go to my screen too bad you're not going to my screen um we only got him probably three months ago and he's already this long um red tail boas can get up to nine or eight feet I'm pretty sure I've heard of some people say 12 but that's apparently rare and also he's a male and so of course they don't get as big another reason red tail obviously is because the pattern on their tail is really pretty he is going on my arm look at him go look at him go um, okay once again going to the camera <laughs> okay but yeah they have a really pre uh, pretty pattern on their tail they're kind of rock colored, if you can see. Um, and then, of course, you get to tell it's like this crazy red um, pattern. And they do a lot more with their tail than a ball python. As you can see, they can hang from it. It's a lot more strong. And like I said, they're, really, they're more muscular. You can just tell um, ball pythons are more round. But definitely this guy, he is uh, more muscular. Uh, but they're also our fat boas, like they're like kind of chubby, you know, but um, not chubby, but they're just more like rounded, if that makes sense. But this guy, you can definitely tell, kind of muscular looking. Um, I've had no problems with him, he's a great snake. It's really cool because I bought this rock hide because I was like, oh, he might blend into it, and it's his favorite hide. So I'm planning on getting some more fixtures that are kind of like this color so that he has somewhere to hide. I want to see if I can get his eyelid move because that's another cool thing is I didn't know their eyelids moved and so they'll be looking this way and they can look that way it'd be great if I can get a picture but I think he wants to kiss my phone because he's going all over it um, I don't know if I mentioned his name is Rocky though clearly um, why we call him Rocky is self-explanatory um, and I don't got much to say about them. I just wanted to show you because I don't know too much about red tail bows. I don't want to say any false information. But obviously I know about the tail, the eyelids, their predators. Oh, and their strike force. Because like I've had a baby ball python clearly before. And this is a baby boa. And just the feeding difference. Like I can feel the strike in my tongs. That's how hard this guy strikes. And he's only a baby. So it's really good to handle them when they're young so they don't have any aggression as they get older, especially because as they get older, an eight foot snake bite probably wouldn't feel that great. Um, I appreciate that y'all watched my video and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.